I'm starting off with my regular foundation as usual. This is my Elamasca Skin Base in number nine. And I'm moving on straight to my brows using my darkest brown eyeshadow in my quad. I'm laying down the base. I want to thicken them up and eliminate the arch almost entirely. And by the way, just a heads up, if you see my lips moving throughout this tutorial for no apparent reason, it's because this is going on. Yeah, girl's gotta have her music on, so moving straight to the brows, I'm drawing each and every individual hair separately. I want to make them appear a lot more manly, so thicker and bushier and a lot less maintained, and I'm moving on to my contouring. So I'm using a medium brown eyeshadow and I'm starting to shade inside my crease underneath the brow. But I found this brown shade to be a little too subtle for what I'm trying to achieve, so I enriched it with some darker brown as well which I put on the sides of my nose and underneath my eyes and above my eyes as well, but obviously we don't want to see any lines, so I'm blending everything out. I'm picking up some of the darker brown with my contour brush and I'm hollowing out the sides of my mouth. I'm not really creating a cheekbone in the same way that I would for a woman. My main goal is to make my chin appear a lot more squared off. I want to create sharper lines and of course, if you go overboard, you can always blend out with your foundation brush. I'm also adding sort of a chin dimple, really something to make it appear a lot more square. And I'm also contouring my neck to prepare the place where I'm going to put my Adam's apple. Here's some more singing, this time in mute. So I'm creating a small sort of indentation with my blending brush. And I'm also doing something which I would never normally do on myself. I'm making my temples appear a lot smaller by contouring. I also want to create the illusion that my forehead is separated in two just to enhance the manly bone structure. And now for my highlight, I'm using a light toned concealer for this and I'm applying it underneath my eyes. We don't need to have dark circles. I'm deepening up the part between my eyebrows and I'm highlighting my nose because I want it to appear elongated. I'm applying some concealer above my eyebrows just so it looks as though the bone is raised and I'm doing the same thing on the edges of my jaw. Following the example of Disney as to how he draws men's lips, which is with no top or bottom lip, I'm slightly blurring out the outline of my lips. I don't want to make them pale, but I certainly want them to look a lot less defined. I'm also highlighting the edges of my chin right and left separately because I want to keep the darkness in the middle. This way it looks a lot more pear shaped. And I'm moving on to my Adam's apple. I'm placing a blob of concealer onto my neck and I'm blending it upwards with my finger. And I'm also intensifying the shadow underneath with a thin brush and some dark eyeshadow. And I'm moving on to the rest of my highlighting, which is really simple lines on the right and left side of my neck. You could definitely stop here and have sort of a Billy Crudup kind of look, or you could move on to your facial hair, which I'm going to do right away. I'm going to go ahead and apply my fake mustache and I'm going to trim the life out of it. I'm going to add more facial hair as the look progresses. So my entire contouring work is going to disappear. Well, not the entire contouring work, just from the nose downwards, let's say, but I still wanted to show how you can achieve a manly look just through contouring. Moving on to my fake beard, which again, I'm going to trim like there's no tomorrow. And I'm actually going to remove most of it, which is kind of wasteful, but it's kind of what we have to do to achieve the look we want. By the way, you could totally stop here if you're going for like a noble musketeer look. I'm going for more of a campus creep look, so my goatee is gonna have to look pretty sparse. In fact, this works to my advantage because whatever area is exposed, I'm gonna fill in with some black stubble. I found that the fake hairs of the goatee were kind of warm toned for my natural coloring so i want to add some cool tones by using just black mixed in with a tiny bit of brown i'm using a stippling brush for this and make sure you stipple and not blend away i'm putting on my beanie and as a final touch i thought i would brush my brow hairs down with some actual black mascara and you could definitely leave it here or you could add your leather jacket and some contact lenses which sometimes have the power to change your face even more so that was it for today's little woman to man transformation. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.